So I've been back from the game from a little for a little bit. Had such a good time. The mouse lost, but that's okay. I still had a really good time. My cousin called me on the way home from the game or texted me on the way home from the game and told me to come over for Sunday dinner. And so I'm running late, but that's where I'm about to go right now. And my other cut some of my other cousins are gonna be there and my aunt and uncle. I don't think I've ever talked about this on uh, YouTube. But I have a year-long partnership with CVS, as in the drugstore. But the content only goes on TikTok. And they sent me this um, Simply Modern jug when it started. I thought this was so cute. Okay, let's go. The other morning when I was coming in the car, I think it was Thursday morning. I think I was vlogging that morning, but I was coming down my stairwell to come to the garage. Tell me why there was a grasshopper or a cricket. No, it was a grasshopper. Crickets are green, aren't they? And it was grasshopping in the stairwell and I thought it was a cockroach. I, oh, I squeal. I've never squealed so quick and so loud in my life. And it was 6.30 in the morning. I was so petrified. I hate bugs that move really, I don't like bugs actually. Let's talk about it. I don't like bugs. I don't like rodents. Kill it. I don't care. What the fork are you doing? My irritation for idiotic ass people. <sighs> Ooh, baby, gets me good. I went to my cousin's place last night. Got to see it, it's so, so nice. I'm so happy for her, I'm so proud of her. She has the most beautiful apartment and the neighborhood that it's in is also really nice. It's so happy to have my cousin here. She's literally my best friend. We're first and second cousins and she just like makes me so happy she's the greatest person ever she deserves so much like good blessings in this life she's so nice everyone my whole life has always called her the calm to my storm because baby i'm a lot and you'll see tonight like we're polar opposites like i'm a i am a true cancer with leo tendencies and she is a true gemini her mom and dad are literally my favorite me and my cousin are two years apart and her dad and my mom who are brother and sister they're also two years apart um and then when me and my cousin were younger our moms used to dress us alike um we had a very close family friend who has since passed away but she was a um clothing designer and she used to make our clothes with our monograms on them, but like they were the exact same thing. Granted, we're two years apart and have never lived in the same city. This is the very first time we've ever lived in the same city on our entire lives. So it's just funny that it's just like, why, 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 why? Personally, I think that everyone that moves to Texas, when you go to get a new license, I personally believe that you need to take the driver's test again, 100%, because the way these people drive the way these people drive is insane, number one. But the way these people drive is so crazy that it increases our car insurance every single year. And I blame it on the fact that their DMV is like 10 different damn buildings. When I went to go get a new license, I had to go to the license center then I had to go to the tax office. Then I had to go to the DMV. Like they're all different places. They're not, it's not all the same. A mess. Hey. What the is it? Oh, is this it's a, a video? Or yeah, it's my vlog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just, <laughs> millennials. <laughs> millennials. <laughs> it's my vlog for YouTube. Do you want to be in it? You want to say hi? Guys, this is my Aunt Juana. Not thank you. Okay. Thank you. Root root, do you want to be my vlog? Oh my god, the pizza. This is my uncle Rudy. This is my mom's brother I was telling you about. And then my dad's cousin. And then that's what makes us first and second cousins. It goes on YouTube. You said what? What's your name? Don't put that on there. Because your mom said they could. 
Oh yeah, man. Good morning. Happy Monday. Today is April 29th. Mm. Hit my teeth really bad. About 10 o'clock. I have already made my coffee. I've opened up the house for the day. The sun is out. The sun was not out when I woke up this morning. <clears throat> it looked like it was about to start raining again, but just cleaned the kitchen. I'm about to do my laundry because my cousin is coming over today at around two o'clock because we are going to a new restaurant that opened up here in dallas they invited me out to have dinner tonight and she is my plus one so we're gonna do that tonight our reservations at five and you're obviously gonna come with me i have to do videos for the um i have to do videos for them on tiktok and instagram i think the italian restaurant which i just love food i was about to say italian is my favorite but i just love food so i have work to finish before i go so i'm trying to just hurry up and clean up so that when she gets here i can finish working while she finishes working and then um i'm gonna film two videos she's gonna be my outfit video that's gonna be on tiktok today um and then um i'm also gonna film a makeup tutorial and for tiktok i need to edit some videos i need to send some emails all all the stuff that happens on a monday i need to do that today um yeah i got back i didn't get back home till like two o'clock last night i went to, over there for dinner and just stayed <laughs> for a long long time days um and then finally came home yeah we've got a busy week so we've got dinner tonight i have to work at the house tomorrow i have to work at the gym on wednesday and um i also have a client meeting on wednesday i have to work at the gym on thursday i go to the brian i go to the byron nelson pga tournament on friday and i'm going to take you guys along with me and then saturday i'm going to i think his name is primo um let me look let me don't get it wrong yeah i'm going to the primo rice concert on for on saturday and i also may be going somewhere else i'm not sure but i'm going to the primo rice concert on saturday and then with my cousin and then cinco de mayo is sunday um and i don't know i don't have to work and i don't know what we're gonna do um she may just come over we may go by the pool or i don't know what we're gonna do so we've got a busy 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 week and i took pictures yesterday after the game and i wanted i was so good yesterday with posting in real time for the game but i took photos after we left the game and then i just got so freaking tired after um i got home before i needed to go over for dinner that i forgot to edit and post them so i'm trying to figure out if i do like a weekend recap or if i do um like the last week of april recap or if i do an april recap and just add them in or like what i wore like outfits i wore to an event i'm trying to figure it out because i cannot let these photos go to waste because they look so good so i'm trying to figure that out my goodness chat yeah, i'm really hoping that once i'm able to travel again me going back and forth to louisville and nashville more will help me fight the urge to move back to louisville i don't know why i have this like deep calling to move back but i feel it in the depths of my soul and i'm trying to rebuke it but so yeah oh mm, while i have you because i'm gonna start doing my laundry um, in a second, but if you have an A L E X A and don't want <clears throat> and don't want to listen to music all the time, she can play audiobooks. And for whatever reason, my Alexa is connected to my mom's Amazon account because she bought it for me. And so I do feel like a stage five creep when my mom buys things off Amazon because I can see when it's being delivered to the house. But um, it's her Amazon account, and so her like playlist or like the the books she likes on audible are connected to the device and so when i don't want to listen to music i have i say i ask her to play audiobooks why am i listening to sister soldier and i'm enjoying it i don't know what chapter i'm on i don't know what book i'm on but i'm enjoying it just listening to this like this black lady talk in the back of my apartment because I grew up watching my mom read these books. And now I'm just like, now this lady is reading through my house. Like, oh wow. Like, I can't let that go to waste. I cannot let that go to waste. Such a good photo. Such a good photo. And I'm so easy to take pictures of. Oh my God, I'm so easy. I literally tell you what to do and I move around you. 
um literally all you have to do is stand there and like snap the photos and i'll move but i thought this background was so cute for what i had on like it's giving sporty chic it's giving sporty chic baby from not knowing if this outfit will be cute to this we did that yeah i gotta post these today or maybe i'll do it on maybe i'll do outfits i wore last week maybe i'll do it on monday because i don't know what i'm gonna wear to the primo concert it's a very hood affair i don't know what i'm gonna wear I do know what I'm wearing today. It's a Tory Burch dress. I have it linked to my LTK. I know what I'm wearing on Friday. I wanna be with you everywhere. Just wanna be just... Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby. Or you still had to say okay, mom. I'm just a baby. One thing I don't like is when I comment on someone's like instagram stories especially a girl i comment on your instagram stories like i think something's cute or um i think something's cute or um i'm like complimenting something or like sharing a sh like talking about a shared experience you read the message and don't respond or like it like there's something about that that just really pisses me off and it makes me not want to support you just saying <laughs> insanely late of course and i've been doing so good but this is my outfit it is from tory birch and it's a part of my rent the runway order keeping it simple with my miller flats also from tory birch and my gucci purse so i'll see you guys at dinner dinner what would you rate it one out of ten i would <laughs> a ten out of ten <laughs> that's my key belief i got it i tried it and i rated it one to <laughs> ten it was honestly so good yeah it was so good it, it was really really good like that margarita pizza it yeah. was like a charcuterie board pizza. so they have two margarita pizzas on the menu one's a regular margarita and then one <laughs> the manager was like it's like a charcuterie board as a pizza and it 100 is it has like a yeah. lemon like a lemon vinaigrette prosciutto yeah. basil arugula mm -hmm. um balsamic vinaigrette it's so good it's so good you know what the uh, the uh bianca so the bianca had the onion like the i guess like saute kind yeah of grillish onions with the sausage it reminded mm -hmm. me of the um you know how in and out does the flying dutchman oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the flying dutchman was, was a pizza, pizza oh that's a good that's a good comparison if the flying dutchman was a pizza without all the extra like messy sauce it had like a white alfredo sauce yeah but like not too messy my mom would like that she likes the alfredo sauce pizzas yes oh the chocolate cake oh yeah the chocolate cake it's a dark i don't know the name for real but it's a dark chocolate olive oil cake yes so good so good so good so we will definitely be back for happy hour like i said they invited me out to come and have dinner and we will be back for happy hour to like sit on the patio yes. they also had like this aperol spritz slushy oh you so only good. need two you only need two and i just had a little taste of one the prosecco was crisp, crisp. yes prosecco was very crispy they have a happy hour that they do um half price wine and beer and then three half price pizzas so mm -hmm. i definitely think it's a staple 
if you're even if you're like if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area but they have them everywhere like they have them in Houston they have them in Nashville mm -hmm. I think there's some in Chicago mm -hmm. very good it's in the Knox Henderson that was our first official girls night in the city mm -hmm. I always think that was just super cool I have been introduced this was my debutante I've been I introduced do. to Dallas society and now we are going back to my house. I've got a lot of work to do when I get home, so I'm probably gonna close out the vlog when I get home. You gotta do your closing shift. See, I be watching. Uh, see, I she calls watching. me her influencer friend, and we're literally cousins. We are cousins so many different ways, but she, I told her she's multi hyphen like she's my sister, cousin, influencer friend, like, and it was a joke being, when I said I don't it. appreciate being called an influencer friend. My influencer friend. We literally share DNA twice, calling me an influencer friend. I'm not one of your little friends. I will say, I hate when people run on the street. Mm. We, they make sidewalks for that reason. Okay. I'm obsessed with this song right now. Oh, babe. I want you to say oh, I'm for it. I went so adored. Watch this. Unpopular opinion. Confessions part one is better than confessions part two. Hi, I thought you were a Kalia. Right in the night on a high note, ladies. Are you ready? I'm warning you, don't come for my man. <sighs> okay, it's been a fun ass two days, but I'm tired. I need to take this makeup off. I need to take a shower. I need to get in my sweats and I need to keep working. So, as always, don't forget to tell your friend, to tell their friend, to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends because we love it over here. We've been having so much fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.